Recently, we met a woman named Laura Kimball. When she was 25 years old, she was a top-notch barrel racer with her trusty horse, Nerny. But then Laura Kimball was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, and it looked like her racing days were over. But Josh Williamson tells us Laura Kimball and her friends just wouldn't let that happen. Look at Laura Kimball, and you can't help but notice a smile every time she talks about her passion, horses. It takes two to compete. And uh, once you form that bond and you build off of that, anything's possible. Take a closer look, and you wouldn't be able to tell she suffers from multiple sclerosis, an autoimmune disease that affects the brain and spinal cord. At first, my reaction was disbelief that uh, this couldn't be happening to me. But uh, as the few months wore on and I started to lose the ability to walk and, and lost the strength and balance, I started to really realize that what he was telling me was actually true. Diagnosed in 1991, her doctors told her she would never compete in barrel racing ever again. They told me to sell my horses, quit my job, and collect Social Security. Her life was spiraling down until 1992, when things started to pick up a bit. She met her horse, Nerny. Through the weekend, I made a comment about her horse and how I liked her horse and ended up buying him. Experienced Copaxone, an injection helping her cope with MS, and she met her husband, Kelvin. August 6th will be our five-year anniversary, and he has been just wonderful. He has never judged me for my MS, has always supported me, and he's my number one fan in barrel racing. But that chance meeting with Kelvin might not have ever happened if it weren't for her friend getting married. She went to uh, her fiancé's friend and asked him, um, you know, says the, the girl that you're going to be standing up with has a mess. She's not sure what her health is going to be like. And he told her to come back and tell me that if he had to carry me down the aisle in order for me to be in that wedding, he would. With all the support from family and friends, Kimball continues to compete across the country and continues living the dream one step at a time. Every time she crosses the finish line after a race, it's a blessing. Every time she gets on the horse, it's a blessing. Every time she gets up in the morning and takes her first step, it's a blessing. In Madison, Josh Williamson, News 3 Sports. Today, Laura and her horse and her husband all live in Appleton, and she became the first member inducted to the National Barrel Horse Hall of Fame. So Good for her. From not having a career to being in a Hall of Fame. That's, That's quite a good story. Good story yeah. from Josh there. You Jay, bet. thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back.